Hi, my name is Mrs. Dwyer. I'm the Director of Education with the Indianapolis Children's Choir. I'm happy to welcome you to our Neighborhood Choir Academy virtual learning program. This is an exciting adventure for all of us. We're so glad you're here. I teach four of the choirs with the Indianapolis Children's Choir, and one of my specialties is helping students learn to hear music and be prepared to sing harmony and be able to read some music. We use a methodology called Kodai. Kodai is based on using solfege, and lots of you have heard of solfege before. You might just not happen to know that this is what solfege is. It's using these syllables. I bet you've seen them before. I'm going to sing them going up. You can join me or you can listen the first time. Here I go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, lo. I bet you've heard that before. I bet you've even heard it used in songs or used at your own school. See if you can sing with me. I'm singing two beats per syllable. These are solfege syllables. Two beats per syllable, and that means I'm singing half notes. See if you can join me. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can sing all the way up and all the way back down together. We're going to hold the high do for four beats. So we'll do half notes until we get up here, and we'll do a whole note, four beats. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Back down. Here we go. Take a breath. Do, ti, la, so, fa. Now, when you start learning to read music, you're not going to use the full scale because music or singing um, a melody is a series of patterns. And so you start separating out those patterns. One thing that I like to do to start learning how to read those patterns is to see how quickly my students can just learn something new. So I'm going to ask you to learn a rhyme. And in this rhyme, <clears throat> there is a boy's name and he has a pet. So I'm going to chant the rhyme in my speaking voice. You're just going to listen. Do not chant it with me. Even if you know it, don't chant it this time. And you, at the end of the rhyme, you have to be able to tell me his name and his pet. And it sounds like this. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snakey died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. He was very dramatic, wasn't he? I bet you know his name. What is his name? If, you're, if you say Johnny, you are correct. And his pet was a rattlesnake. You got it. So I'm going to say that rhyme very quickly. I'm going to say just a little small portion of it. And I want you to be my echo. So if my hands are here, I'm asking you to wait and listen. And when my hands go like that, you echo me. This is also the beginning of learning how to watch a choir director. So you want to watch your director and only echo when you're asked to. Here I go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. So I'm kind of dramatic when I do my storytelling, and that's because when we sing, we want to be able to express different emotions through that singing. So let's do that again, only this time I won't do short things to echo. I'll do twice as long a pattern to echo. You're still watching the conductor watching me say me first, then you. Here I go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. You got it. Good job.
Okay, so now let's try the whole thing together. Try all four of those phrases, and I'll do it with you the first time, but the second time, I'll just keep a beat. And we'll see if you have it already memorized in your head, because that's really important to learning new songs and new melodies and learning to sing solfege, having a good memory for musical things. So here we go. The first time it's both of us. Ready, set, and here we go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. Got it. Okay, this time you're gonna take a breath and come in and I'll just conduct a beat and you can see if you can say the whole thing. I'll think it in my head so I know when you're at the last line. One, two, here we go. Two. Snake he died. Two. Were you with me on those moments when I said it? Very, very good. So that's all your chanting voice. But what solfege does for us, solfege gives us pitches to create a song. So we're going to take that rhyme and create a song. We won't use the whole scale, but the most important pitches that you want to start with in hearing those patterns to sing beautiful melodies are so and me. Those two pitches really can get us going. So you can take any rhyme or chant and just sing so and me. So is a high pitch, me is a low pitch. Let's see if you can be my echo. I'll sing high and low as the words first and you be my echo and then I'll switch to solfege syllables. High, low, high, high, low, go. Now let's use solfege syllables. Me first, then you. So, me, so, so, me. So, so, me, so, so, me. Now most pretty experienced singers can take those two pitches, take the rhyme, Johnny had a rattlesnake, and turn it into a song. So if you just have a high sound and a low sound, anything can become a song. For instance, Johnny had a rattlesnake would sound like this using just those two pitches. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. Easy peasy. You've probably been doing that for years. Give it a try with me. Ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. Got it? Let's make it harder though, because I know from working with lots of kids in middle school and upper levels that they probably threw in the next most important note automatically. You might not have just sung, just so in me, you may have also used law. And if you used law, there's a very natural musical pattern that a lot of songs use in their melody that sounds like this. So me, la, so me. Have you heard that before? Some kids hear it as, na, 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 na. I bet you've heard that before. All right, let's try Johnny Had a Rattlesnake putting in a law. Let's be my echo first on solfege pitches. Just get that law in your head, and then we'll try adding it to Johnny Had a Rattlesnake. Can you sing? So me, so, so me. So la, so, so me. So la, so la, so me. Awesome. If I wanted to add a law in Johnny Who Had a Rattlesnake, I might do something like this. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Shall we try that? Try it with me. Ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. See how I had a slur up to that, to, to, up to that law? 
two, four. A slur is when you have two pitches on one syllable. So that was pretty cool. So let's take it even farther to the next step. If you're, especially if you're in fourth grade to adulthood doing this, this is probably where you really want to start at this level. Notice that the low do is now a blue note. And so lots of songs, many, many songs all, all end on do. Some of them will end on a la, some of them will end on do. If do is the most important sound in, in a song, that song is usually in a major scale. Not always. Sometimes it's, it, it can be a minor scale with, with do used, but mo we go with la as minor in our choirs. But you don't have to worry about that stuff yet. So now I want to use four different pitches for my creating of a new song out of Johnny Had a Rattlesnake. You remember at first we just used so and me. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Then we added law. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Now we want to add do. But we're just going to use do for the end of the song. So the first two, four, six, eight is going to be so me, so me. And that would be two, four, six, eight. But when those words come back again, a composer would change it to make it more interesting. So we're going to use so me and do. We're going to sing two, four, six, eight. Okay, try it with me as I'm pointing. If, if not, if that's too hard, just listen and then sing it with me when we come back the second time. Watching the pitches move up and down and that'll help you. Here I go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. Got it? Let's try it one more time. Ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. Johnny had a rattlesnake. Snake he died and Johnny cried. Two, four, six, eight. And that's what solfege is all about, starting to learn melodic patterns. Practice with this video a couple times and you'll start to get used to singing lots of melodic patterns using solfege. Have a good time. Bye.